Hello everyone, welcome back to Lost in Time. I think this is going to be the last video of this Let's Play. Um, I gotta be honest, I really, I still have no idea what's going on. I really, I'm not following the plot of this game very well. And to be honest, I just don't really care too much anymore. I just want to get this game over with. And we're close to the end, so I think I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to just try to get through it. And I'm not going to try to explain too much because I don't really understand what's going on, but let's go ahead and get to it. So last time we, um, so we're here outside this cabin, and the woman who was, I guess, like a, a sorceress, she was uh, doing that spell, she was mixing that love potion, but uh, we have to do something while she's doing that, or just before she does it, actually. So let's go ahead and do this again. So she so shows up and asks how she's going to help us, and we introduce ourselves, and then we talk about stuff and things, and then she says, okay, she says she's going to mix a love potion. So here's what you have to do. Before she puts her glasses on, grab the book from the table, and she won't see it because she's not wearing her glasses. And now she goes ahead and says, where's my old book? Now, let's not give her the book just yet. No, it doesn't do anything. Delia is an it. Excuse me, I'm going to see if my, book, if my old book is in the, in the other room. Okay, so while she's gone, we have to take a look around. So we have a spider here. Let's look at lots of legs and lots of hair. We have a piece of clothing, which we can't take because the spider doesn't want to let it go. We have to take the mirror here and quickly use the mirror on the spider. Go away, pretty thing. I need your pillow. And then we take, once the spider's gone, we can take this piece of clothing, which is a silk blouse. There we go. That's what you have to do. And a few minutes later. I've looked behind there and I cannot find my old book. Have you seen it? Ah, thank you, you found it. And now it continues as it did before. So she does some mixing and some pouring. Arrange for Mackendall to drink this and bring back his glass to me. When you return, Velvet will be here. Mackendall will not be happy to learn that Delia knows a direct way to get to him. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to go ahead and save the game here again. So yeah, that's what you have to do. So you need to grab Delia's spell book while her glasses are off, because if you don't, she's just gonna make the potion and then she'll be done. Then once you grab the spell book, she goes into the other room to look for it. And then when she's gone, you have to quickly scare the spider away and grab the blouse. We need, so we have here the silk blouse and Delia would have given us the potion anyway, but she wouldn't have given us the, the silk blouse. We need to take the silk blouse. And what you shouldn't do is try to grab the mirror before she's gone, because if you try to grab the mirror, she'll see you taking it and say, no, that's that's one of my tools, please leave it there. And then she'll take it from you, and then you can't do that whole sequence. So don't try to take the mirror until Delia is gone. Instead, take her spell book first, wait till she's gone, then take the mirror, then use the mirror on the spider, and then you can take the blouse. That's the sequence. All right, a little bit... Uh, a little bit convoluted, but okay, I guess it kind of makes a certain kind of sense, right? So, okay, fine. Okay, let's go ahead and return to Mackendall's cabin. And uh, no, how did you get here? Do not forget that it is Delia's job to know the future. She knows everything. That woman. It is time for me to get rid of her. Ah, I see you have the small payment I requested. Hmm, I recognize her scent. This piece of silk is perfect. Sit down. This is not creepy at all that we gave. Uh, yeah, let's let's not talk about that. Shall we drink on it? A glass for you, one for me, and another one for the good spirit that protects me. Thank you, but let's not forget Yoruba. He's waiting for you. Then where is he now? He is on the beach with a friend. Well, let's drink to his departure. So what do we do? Well, he wants to see uh, his his friend, right? So let's go ahead and use the holocom to summon him. Ah, but there's not enough light for the hall communicator to work. So how do we let some light in? Don't you think it's kind of dark in here? It's a shame too, the sun is so nice outside. I don't like to appear rude, but I'm going to open it for a few moments. And now we can use the holocom 
It must be in the light to work. Let's go ahead and put it on the table. Let's put it in the sun. Mackendall hasn't noticed anything. Let's turn on Melchior's hollow communicator. I'm starting it. The sun should make it work. Yes, Dora. You need me, or will my image be enough? Yes, it worked. Melchior, thanks for your help. Okay, and the guy is so stunned that he hides. While he's hidden, let's quickly put the potion in his glass. Let's pour the potion. Done. Are you sure he left? He's so scared he's hiding, hiding behind the chair there. Come back! The spirit has finished his drink and it has left. Drink this, you will feel better. Okay. And now I guess he's stunned. So while he's stunned, let's go ahead and take our communicator back. It worked fine, I can put it away now. And let's also take his glass, because Delias said that we, she does want his, uh, his glass. He is too stunned to realize that I am stealing his glass. Mission accomplished. You are not courageous, you are simply crazy. Okay, let's go and see that Yoruba. He did also give us a glass, but if you try to, if you try to drink your glass, uh, Doralus says, I'm not drinking that, he might give me one of his potions. Okay, let's go. Good, you were able to make him drink the potion. I can't wait to see the result. Now you can talk with Velvet. She is here. But who are you? Delia told me that you know where Yoruba is. He is safe on the beach with one of my friends. But tell me, how did you become M Mrs. Rochefort de, de la Prunelière? The plantation belonged to my father. He was a widower and, while still young, suddenly became very ill. About that time, Jarlath came into my life. When my father died, he wanted to marry me. I was so alone and confused, I accepted. He took my father's name and his fortune. Then he brought slaves here. With Yoruba, it was love at first sight. He is so proud, so honest, so kind. We had a child and Jarlath did not care. Then suddenly he decided to take a ship. Uh, he decided to ship Yoruba's treasure back to Europe. The baby is with Seloisi, the cook. Come. Here is Seloisi. She takes care of the baby as if it was hers. Hello, Seloisi. Is everything okay here? Yes, the manager is very brutal, but he likes the manicures. Amilcar, my son, raises them and I cook them. Amilcar is your son. He told me he lost his mother, and besides, I took care of his manicou. And you ate it? Yes, it's him. He always makes up things. He told you that so you would like him. Velvet, maybe you should take the baby far from here. What could happen? Isn't he safe here? Mm, and what about Jarleth? But he doesn't want to harm Maximin, and Yorba felt it was his duty to leave with the treasure of his tribe. Okay. Go with Yoruba now. He is waiting for you. I'll stay here with Maximin. No, better not. The manager wouldn't like to see you here. Oh, we got a note of some kind. Doralus, bad news. It is not Mackendall that we have seen on the beach. It is Jarleth. Mackendall must, must be one of his men. He hurried to warn him. Jarleth recognized me. I am his prisoner again. He told me that he is going to kill Maximin. It is only a matter of minutes. Doralus, save yourself. Well, what do we do now? Hold on, let's check out this note that we got. Uh, is it this one? Yes. 1840, St. Christopher Island, encounter with Velvet, my great-great-great-great-grandmother. Wait, did she know that we are her great-great-great-great-granddaughter? I'm not sure if she got that. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and save here. I think this is going well so far. I think... Whoops. I clicked out of it by mistake. So, I guess we'll say, um, yes, confirm. Okay, so what do we need to do here now? So, we're here alone in the village again for a while. Um, so, we still have Serapion here, who doesn't, uh, yeah. Your group advised me to come and see you, but you seem to have lost your voice. Yeah, he, he can't, uh, he can't speak. I wish I could do something to heal him. Okay. So, let's see, what do we have here? So we're here on the beach. Mackin almost have kept his promise. I wonder where Melchior is. And here at the waterfall, I guess we can't do anything. 
Yeah, we can't go this way anymore. I should follow the path from Delia's pl Delia's place. Where's Delia's house? Um, oh, I think it's... Yeah, it's to the left of here. There we go. So this is Delia's cabin. Um... Ah, that's you. I was hoping to see Bakendal. The potion should be starting to work. Do not bother me anymore. In exchange, I give you this inverter. It will change anything to its opposite. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay, it will change anything to its opposite. All right. And here's Mackendall's cabin. Healing doesn't make you rich. Listen, now that I have helped you, I don't want to be bothered anymore. Yoruba is resting at the village. But I can still do something for you. Here is some... Be quiet. Your tongue needs some rest. One last thing. I found the passage from Delia's cabin, and it no longer exists. Good luck. What passage from Delia's cabin? I don't get it. I don't know. Anyway, okay. What do we have now? So we have... The inverter, which changes anything to its opposite, and we have some... Be quiet. Which I guess makes somebody be quiet. Ah, but... We've got a gentleman here who doesn't need to be quiet, but just the opposite. We need to get him to speak. So let's use the inverter on the be quiet. By mixing the two potions, I've made a new one. What do we have now? Hey, check it out. We got speakable. So we still have the inverter, but we also have speakable now. Let's see if this will work. Well, don't use it on the cabin. Use it on speakable on Serapion. There you go. Yeah! Hurrah! My memory has its voice again. You healed me. Thanks, kid. Serpion, you must help me. I have to see Seloisi. Cel Do you know what's going on here? Ah, oh, the plantation history has been very sad since Charlotte came here from an unknown country. Since you gave me back my voice, I will tell you everything I know. Charlotte hypnotized the girl to make her believe she was giving her father medicine while she was poisoning him. Oh, that is the evilest plot I've ever heard of. And now he wants to kill little Maximin. Yes, the evil is still around. Beware of the serpent. The serpent? What do you mean? Got another note. Okay, it's just the dialogue with Serapion. The memory of the island tells his story. Wait, is he... Is he literally, like, the memory of the island? Is he, is he literally somehow, like, some kind of personification of the memory of the island? Or, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on, man. Okay, um... Can, Serp can Serpion tell us anything else? Serpion, help me! There must be a way to avoid the dog. Oh yes, the dog is guarding the place. Unfortunately, I have nothing for you, only this bag containing coarse salt. Salt, huh? Okay, we have salt. Let's give the salt to the dog. This doesn't seem to be tempting to him. Alright. Well, let's use the... In we still have the inverter. Can we invert... Can we invert the holocom? No, it doesn't do anything. Okay, can we invert the salt? Yes! The inverter transformed the coarse salt into sugar. And now we use the sugar on the dog. Sugar always works. He became a nice dog. I would take you with me to the 20th century. I, I don't think that dogs eat just pure sugar. Like, if you just dumped a bag full of sugar in front of a dog, would the dog just eat it like that? I don't think so. And even if you did and the dog was hostile, I don't think that would turn the hostile dog into a nice dog. I don't think it works that way. Anyway, okay, now we can go here. So previously this way was blocked, but now we can go to the kitchen. All right, what do we have here? We have Siloisi. Oh, she has been drugged. Otherwise, Charlotte wouldn't have been able to get close to the baby. We have embers. Ouch, that burns. Okay. We have the crib. Ha! Ah, Maximine is there. But I must be dreaming. There is a snake just lying there in his crib. This is horrible. Maximine is breathing. He sleeps, poor darling. But if he wakes up, he will move and the snake will bite him. Okay, so we have... Okay, we have a stool. It went deeper into the ground. I keep clicking on it and it just says it went deeper into the ground. Okay, fine. The table. Okay, I guess the table doesn't do anything. A bag. It's a bag. Nothing strange. It contains vanilla. All right. 
Everything seems normal, no traces of a fight or blood, so now she comments on the table after you take the bag. All right, let's see. Ooh, there's vanilla in the bag and flour. Okay. Um, I think what I need to do is... Uh, um, hmm. I think I'm supposed to take this stuff out of the bag. But how do I do that? Oh, there we go. Okay, now we've got the bag empty. Okay. So, let me actually save the game here again, because this is... This is getting pretty close to the end of the game. I think we'll need to, uh... Need to just be a little cautious here, so... Okay. Alright, fine. So, um... So what we do is we take the empty bag and put it on the embers. Using the bag, I succeed in taking a few embers. There we go. So now the bag contains a few embers. So now the bag is warm. We put the bag with the embers on the stool. Success! It worked! The heat from the embers brought the snake out of the crib. Maximin is safe now. And what do we do with the bag with the snake inside? Okay, it's done. What am I going to do now? I must destroy it. Put it on the embers. Let's kill that evil serpent, yeah! While the snake was roasting in the fire, Jarleth Furious appeared in front of me. And... Yes, of course he does this. Jarleth decides, Hey, since I'm going to kill you now, let's explain the whole plot of the game. Since this is like the, the culminative sort of last scene of the game, let's actually explain what the game was about. So... Since you were able to save your great-great-grandfather, I will explain to you the ingenious plot that you wanted to foil. My problem was to rapidly decontaminate the... AM1492 that I had stolen? Oh, I guess that... that... Sarcophagus? Uh, I had the brilliant idea to hide it in my past, 3,000 years earlier, in Egypt. I had to marry the daughter of a rich planter in the Caribbean in... Caribbean or Caribbean, in order to obtain a ship and hide the treasure under the guise of trading slaves. <laughs> it's pretty pretty sad when you're doing something so devious that trading slaves is actually a, a legitimate cover for it. In this way, it would be hidden from the time patrols and safe in a sunken ship near a manor I acquired in Europe. Jarleth wanted to get rid of me, and this time without any middleman. I ran straight ahead. Okay, let's save here. I like that expression on his face. He's like, Ugh. Like he just smelled something quite foul. Hey, Jarleth. Ugh. And if we just don't do anything... Jarleth was standing in front of me and preventing me from going anywhere. I felt like I was falling. Mission failed. Jarleth has defeated Doralus. All is lost by making her feel like she was falling. Okay, so let's see. What do we have in our inventory now? We have the vanilla, the holocom, and the flour. I think what you're supposed to use is the flour. Yes, because it makes him sneeze and it makes him fall down because of that. That is how you defeat someone. Give them a flower and it will make them sneeze to their death. Jarlis disappeared deep into the crevice. Overcome by emotion, I lost consciousness again. Ooh, my head! What happened? You were hit on the head by a thief, miss. Fortunately, I arrived in time. Your lawyer told me. Everything is okay. Well, Mr. Orlis, you haven't been very cautious. I asked you to wait in front of the entrance. I thought somebody might be in the manor. He could have killed you. But... Y you are Melchior. Then I haven't been dreaming? The travel in time, the sarcophagus, Yoruba and Velvet, was all that true? Come on, I am so Sim Art. Oh, it's like a Maxis simulation of art. Okay, I didn't play Sim Art, but it's nice that we meet him now as our lawyer. I think you must be rather tired. The blow you received on the head must have confused you. Come on, everything is over now. Wink.
And that was it. Lost in Time. Cocktail Vision presents Lost in Time, created by project manager Mur Muriel Trami. And all these other credits, which I'm, which I'm not going to read. That was... It? You just get like this one screen of credits? I guess you do. And the game is over. Uh, okay, I really don't have anything further to say about that, to be honest. This was... Um, that was a thing. That was a point-and-click adventure game from Cocktail Vision. It was, I believe, it was the last such game from Cocktail Vision and from uh, Muriel Trami, as far as I know. Um, and I think I've said before, if you thought this game didn't make much sense, you should play some of her earlier games. They make even less sense. Like, you might think that's not possible, but believe me, it actually, like, it's it's definitely possible. Like, the, the endings to the other games are even less... Uh, less uh credible than this one so yeah okay uh you know it's it's funny um when i was a kid i uh I, I wanted to play this game and now i see how wrong i was i was young and foolish and now that i've played this game to the end i can honestly say that uh i'm, I'm glad i didn't play it as a child because this would have scarred me for life okay thanks for coming along for the ride everyone this has been lost in time I hope you've enjoyed, despite the game. Um, I will talk to you later in future videos about future games and stuff and things. But until then, thanks again for coming along with me, everyone. Hope you're all doing well. Take care, and bye-bye.